Hello YouTube, this is Sam from Ties Schooling. In this session of the video, we're actually going to talk about the cecum. So the cecum is actually uh, ha having served as a site for cellulose digestion in our ancestors. But the cecum now is simply act as a reservoir for chyme, which it receives from your ileum. If you see in this diagram and we remove the skeletal muscle, skeletal bones, we can see the cecum around here. Right, this part is your cecum, right it did there. So the cecum is actually the most proximal part of your large intestine and can be found in the right iliac fossa of the abdomen. If you want to see this diagram clearly by using this muscle, it is found in the iliac fossa, which is the right iliac fossa. So it lies inferiorly to the ileocecal junction and can be palpated if enlarged maybe due to feces or inflammation or malignancy any of that <clears throat> so the cecum drives its name from its uh, inferior blind part and superiorly the cecum is continuous with the ascending this is your ascending ascending uh, colon Unlike ascending colon, the cecum, this part, is intraperitoneal, but your ascending colon and descending colon are both retroperitoneal, and your this transverse colon and sigmoid colon are again intraperitoneal. You must have watched a lecture on that. If you haven't, please make sure to watch that in order to understand the intraperitoneal and retroperitoneal organs. So between the cecum and the ileum, if we're gonna remove few structures in this. I'm going to multi select this. For example, if I'm going to remove this structure, I mean, hide it. And again, choosing this structure and uh, hiding it. Now we have a good and clear image of it. So you can see that between, uh, I guess I have removed this small intestine. I have to reset it again. Digestive tract and bring it back. Okay. So let me remove this uh, big structure. Hide it again. So right over here, you can see there's a connection between them right in there, right in there, right inside of it, right? You can see that there's a connection between them. So there you go on the posterior side. This is it. So between the cecum and your ileum, this is the ileum is the ileocecal uh, junction, well, well, ileocecal valve, and uh, th this valve prevents reflex of your large bowel you know contents into the ileum during peristalsis and is thought to function passively as opposed to be defined as a muscular sphincter this is the function of your ileum and uh, the uh, ileocecal junction function as an sphincter when we talk about the ne neurovascular supply remember the cecum is actually uh, derived from the embryonic midgut, so therefore the vascular supply would be it's uh, the superior mesenteric vessels. But uh, in the superior mesenteric vessels, uh, it gives few branches that are the ileocecal uh, ileocolic arteries. So those ileocolic arteries are actually the branches of your superior mesenteric artery, which supply your ileocecal junction or your cecum. And uh, again, uh, this uh, uh, ileocolic artery further divides into anterior and posterior cecal arteries, which directly supply the cecum. And uh, we were talking about the venous drainage, uh, which is provided by the ileocolic vein again and empties into the superior mesenteric veins. The, uh, both are similar. There you got the superior mesenteric artery, which supplies the cecum, and the superior mesenteric vein, which, uh, which actually drains the whole um, venous drainage. And the nervous supply we're talking about, they remember that the sympathetic and the parasympathetic branches of the, your autonomic nervous system innervate the cecum and your appendix, that, that small structure hanging down there. So this is actually achieved by your iliocolic branch of your, again, superior mesenteric plexus. Very simple. Uh, like in talking about the veins, we've got superior mesenteric veins. In talking about the arteries, we've got superior mesenteric arteries. In talking about the uh, nervous supply, we've got the superior mesenteric plexus. So which follows the same course as the iliocolic artery and carries vagal and sympathetic nerve fibers. 
in case of your lymphatic drainage which is not that much detail I'll be explaining I'll just telling you it's uh, supplied by your if I haven't uh, I don't have the lymphatic right here maybe right here so lymphatic drainage is uh, from the cecum drains into your ileocolic which is called ileocolic lymph nodes which surround your ileocolic artery right this is it regarding the cecum very short video and uh, that's it for next videos please keep visiting tag schooling see you next time thanks for coming